Hello everybody, today on Pearl's Podcast, we are gonna be doing a complete full tour of Disney's Hollywood Studios down here in Orlando, Florida. This is fun and you're gonna have a great time. Before we get started though, I just kind of want to explain why do we do this, what is the point of this, what is going on? Let me explain, there's really two reasons why we're doing this. Number one, we're doing this for people who are getting ready to come out on a vacation. I want you guys to have a good time on your vacation and be prepared and just have a great time. That's so important to us here at Pearl's Park Fest. And number two is there are people out there who maybe for whatever reasons they can't go on a vacation at this particular time, but it could be like uh, maybe like a financial hardship or it could be maybe they're having family issues or maybe it's a health issue. And because of that, they aren't able to travel as willingly or able. So we wanted to go ahead and do like a full tour, just kind of show that and bring a little bit of joy. I just want to say this, before we get started, it is growing. Our channel here at Pearl's Park Fest is growing like crazy and I want you to be part of it. So hit that subscribe button. It really is. We are growing, growing, and growing. And I want you to be part of that amazing thing that's happening here at Pearl's Park Fest. You can hit that notification bell if you want to. You don't have to. But if you do, then every time we do a new video, you'll get notified. Or if you just subscribe, if you log on, it'll just show you recommendations for Pearl's Park Fest for whatever topics. We're doing Disney. We're doing Knott's Ray Farm. We're doing Universal. We're doing hikes. We're all kinds of cool things here at Pearl's Park Fest. And I want you to be part of it. So I'm personally extending an invitation for you to hit that subscribe button and be part of this amazing momentum and growth that we have here at Pearl's Park Fest. All right. Now, let's get started with the full tour here at Disney Hollywood Studios. When you first come in, you're gonna be walking down and you see you straight ahead. That is a brand new mini, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And this is like on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, you got a bunch of gift shops. And you're gonna go down here, just keep walking along, enjoying this. It's kind of like Main Street, so think of it that way. But we're gonna turn to the right. We're gonna go right down here and this is called Sunset Boulevard. This is gonna take us to some of the most popular attractions here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Turning on our right on Sunset Boulevard. Off to the left hand side, you've got the uh, Beverly Sunset Tinseltown Greetings. And if you look over here, you got a bunch of gift stores. Now what's interesting is that it's called Sparkle on Sunset Boulevard. That stuff right there, those are like the more high-end uh, gifts that they have here. They've got necklaces, they've got rings, they've got jewelry. It's, it's some really cool stuff. Then going down here, you're gonna take a first look here. You're gonna see the Hollywood Tower of Terror, an amazing attraction. For those of you who are in California who rode the attraction there, it is completely different here. It's very different. It's not even remotely close to being the same. You actually go up, you go on a little track, it takes you through. So then over here on the right-hand side, continuing on, we have more gift shops over there. And it's called the Glitz and the Glamour for every occasion. Which that's kind of a little nod to the Hollywood Tower because they say that in the pre-show, like right? the Glitz and the Glam. Right down here, is, this is the, where the restrooms are. And then there is more gift stores. This gift store goes all the way down these buildings here. On the left-hand side, you can see right here, it says Anaheim Produce. What? That's right. You have a little Anaheim Produce, a little nod to California. And it's got an orange right there on the sign. This is where you come in and you can get uh, drinks in there. You get uh, uh, like Coca-Cola. And there's a whole bunch of tables behind that where you can sit down and eat your snacks. Continuing on. Oh, I need to make a deal with you before we get too far into this video. Here's the deal. At the end of this video, if you like this video, you're gonna hit the like button. If you learn something, you'll hit the like button. If you find it informative, you hit the like button. If you don't, you're gonna put down a comment down below of what I can do better to make these videos better and uh, more fun for you guys. We're just learning here at Pearl's Park Fest, trying to make the best videos for you that are entertaining and informative. All right, let's continue on. Okay, now off to the right hand side here, this is the Beauty and Beast stage show. It's one of the best shows you can see here. Some people say it's the best one they have down here in Florida. This is the Beauty and Beast stage where they do the Beauty and Beast show. Yeah, they had a performance here last night and Gaston won an award, he won a Nobel Prize. <laughs> Here's a little fun trivia. Emma Watson was in Harry Potter and she also played uh, uh, Belle in the Beauty and the Beast live uh, adaption, which makes sense because both of the main characters are Harry. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. The spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. Bonjour! 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 There goes the baker with his tray, like always. As you 
you see, I've got biceps to spare. I will be furious if he finds out what we're up to. Well, we don't have to tell him, do we? Well, there is nothing to worry about. Your dinner. with Beauty and the Beast. It's awesome. This here is the Tower of Terror, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you something that most people do not know about this. There's a little hidden treat stand that most people miss. If you like coffee, donuts, or pastries, I'll show you this really cool hidden treat stand. The reason that this treat stand is so hidden is because it's at the exit of the Tower of Terror, and it's a one-way street, this Tower of Terror exit. So when people get off, the only people who come down here are people who are riding the attraction Tower of Terror. If you're not riding attraction, most people don't walk down here. So this little, uh, this little treat stand is usually very, very empty. There's the Hollywood Tower of Terror. At nighttime, that sign lights up. This here is a, here you can kind of maybe hear them, the Tower of Terror, and then right over here is the gift shop. That, and this is the exit for the ride. But what do you see right across this right here? This is usually very empty and not a lot of people here. They got donuts, you see there's big donuts. And they also have like coffee and drinks here, which is a nice little thing because most people don't come down to this one. The only way to get, leave this area is again to walk back out the way that you came in, the exit for uh, the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Right next to this is one of the best roller coasters you can do here. It's called the Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster. All right, we're just exiting out. There again is the Tower of Terror. And right here we have the Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith. We did a whole video on the secrets revealed in this particular attraction. You can click on that over here, over here, whatever you want. This was originally supposed to be the Rolling Stones, but they decided not to do it. So Aerosmith stepped in and said, we'll do it. It's an indoor roller coaster and the roof completely removes if, they, if the building is designed so the roof can completely remove in case they ever have to do repairs. Since the roller coaster has been operation, in operation though, they've never opened up the roof because it's uh, never had a problem. I'm gonna show you one really cool hidden Mickey here on that giant poster showing uh, Aerosmith. And you'll notice this is a sweet, sweet guitar. The rock and roller coaster starting Aerosmith. The guitar goes all the way around, the, turns into like strings and it takes you right down to that limousine right there. The premise of the show is that you are getting backstage passes to go to see Aerosmith, but they're worried about traffic, so they you get in this limo and they take you super fast. All right, let's take a look at some really cool things on this particular poster. Are you ready? You look at the license plate. What does the license plate say? Disney World. And you look right there on, look at this shirt, the black dots on a shirt, those are Mickey heads. And then Joe Perry, the guitarist right there, if you look on, you look right there, on his necklace is also a little hidden Mickey. Very fun, very fast roller coaster with loops and twists, and <laughs> it is, is awesome. And when you go on it, they play different songs, so you never know which Aerosmith song you're going to get. Really, really, really fun. I enjoyed a lot. Okay, so there we got the G Force Records. It's kind of a play off of Geffen Records with G Force because you get a lot of G Force. Now, if you look right past it, you see this it says Light McQueen's Racing Academy. This area here is something that a lot of people don't go to. I do. A lot of people don't come to this area because um, they don't even realize it. They go to a rock and roller coaster and they just kind of stop. 
this is a fun, this racing academy is a very fun show for children. Lightning McQueen comes out, he talks to them, then he does an interactive racing with a uh, chick hit. It's a lot of fun, they get a photo op with the cars. See right now you see a bunch of cars over there for photo ops. It's a really fun show for little ones. Uh, it's, you're not writing or you're not gonna, there's not motion or anything like that, you're just kind of watching screens, you're watching this interactive animatronic of like McQueen. It's, a, it's for little kids. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. I always thought this was interesting because the CEO says KRNR. It says for K Rock and Roll. That's a place where you get like a different drinks there. Now, radio stations, if they're west of the Mississippi, start with the letter K. If they're east of the Mississippi, they start with the letter, the letter W. Like there's a TV show, WKRP in Cincinnati. That's because it's uh, east of the Mississippi. Or, so that's that KRNR. That's just know that it's in the west. Most notably, probably Los Angeles, because that's where the show takes place. That's why, hence, I have a letter K in front of that radio station. As you leave, you get a really cool photo op if you want to take the time to set it up. There is a rear view mirror on this upside down Cadillac. You can actually get a little selfie of yourself in that rear view mirror. How cool is that? All right, now we're gonna be walking back down Sunset Street. This is called like an out and back street. It doesn't make a loop. If you walk down it, you gotta go back. It's just an out and back. So we're gonna walk back down Sunset Boulevard uh, to the main street where uh, the entrance street they come in and continue on this tour. Also, I just wanna say this. Did you know that at Pearl's Park Best we have a Patreon? Well, what is our Patreon? Our Patreon is where we, uh, we have people come in, they like to try to support the channel and they get certain benefits. Did you know that people that pay $3 a month, what, $3 a month, that's less than a, that's less than a Happy Meal, that they get an extra video every Sunday night where Amanda and I answer their questions. It's a way that we get to interact with our Patreon members. We do dance parties, we have lots of fun with them, we send them bloopers, and if you want your name at the end of our videos, you'll notice that there's a cr list of credits. If you want your name on that credit, that only costs a dollar. So uh, feel free to join that. I'll put a link down below for the Patreon, click on that, and you can join that if you want to, be part of our amazing Patreon community. It's a very positive community, and I'm very proud of it. Okay. Let's continue on down Sunset Boulevard. Uh, here we talk about the those nice tables there to eat at. We're gonna walk right down here, and this takes us right out to the main street where we're gonna hang a right and go this way. I really enjoy this particular park. It's fun. It's it's there's a lot of things to do here. A fun little thing to see right up here is a billboard. And what is that billboard? It says Paradise Pier. And if you notice, it's exactly the Paradise Pier that they have in. Disney California Adventure, it's a little throwback to them. And this particular billboard is also right next to the Seashell Souvenir Shop in Disney California Adventure. They have the exact same billboard. And that's how Paradise Pier used to look when it first opened up, by the way. You can see they got the Golden Zephyr, they got the Mickey and Friends Fun Wheel, and then there's the Incredicoaster. Okay, so we're coming to the end of Sunset Boulevard and we're gonna turn right and walk down this way. And we'll continue on with our full tour of Hollywood Studios. All right, continuing on right here. If you notice there's a billboard right there, it shows the red trolley. They have the red trolley in Disney California Adventure. And guess what, they just announced they're bringing that back. Moving on here, you also have, if you notice that popcorn right there, Stan, is the, like a uh, silver zephyr. It's very similar to the one they have in Disney California Adventure, right in front of the Elias & Co. Hot and fresh popcorn. And this is, this is the buckets they have here, guys. It is the Skyliner. What? All right, now moving right here. This is the Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. One of the more popular attractions that they have here at Disney California Adventure. It was called the Great Movie Ride, but it, they have repurposed it and redid this as Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. They'll be opening that up in Toontown in 2023 at Disneyland. And here we are at Hollywood Studios. Now I'm gonna kind of show you off to the right. It's like a little character meet and greet. You can see right over there, you got Chip and Dell over there. This is the Brown Derby, a very nice restaurant here at Hollywood Studios. And we're gonna walk right through here and walk you around into Toyland. Now I'm gonna kinda of show you this one little area over here that a lot of people skip. And that's right through this doors right here where it says Hollywood Studios. This is a nice little relaxing area as you walk through these Hollywood Studios, this giant archway and come down here. They have some things here that you come and relax. See where it says the Star Wars launch bay? If it gets too hot, you go in there, it's a nice air conditioned area. But really what you wanna see down here is off to the right, you're gonna see what's called the Disney Junior Dance Party. This is where they have the dance party for little ones. They come in there, there's the entrance right there, and they have a dance party and uh, get a chance to dance with Minnie and Mickey and have bubbles come down from the ceiling. Uh, it's, you know, it's a fun thing to do. Then we're gonna turn around. Literally, we're gonna have to turn right back around because this is it's a one-way. 
And there is right over here, the Little Mermaid attraction. Now this is the Voyage of the Little Mermaid. It's not actually an attraction, it's a show. They do have the Little Mermaid ride, but that's at Magic Kingdom. This over here is like a little show, like a meet and greet with Ariel. We're gonna walk right down here. This over there behind, by the way, that is the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We're gonna walk behind it and take us into Toy Story Land. This is a hidden gem. It's called Walt Disney Presents Walt Disney One Man's Dream. This is where you go in and get a true appreciation of Walt Disney. You see, it's like a little museum and at the end, they have a movie where you can look and see how they came to plan, like just see Walt's vision. And plus they have a little meet and greet of Sully. I just had to come in and show you how cool this is one. You see like all these different like, history and things you see. It's all about Walt Disney. And I'm glad that they do this here because, because if it wasn't for Walt, we wouldn't have this amazingness. And it's, I mean, it's, it's just wonderful. And if you look, they have a replica right there of Disneyland. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. You notice a brick is exactly like they do. They have it at Disneyland. I just had to show you this. Check this out. This, there you go. Look, Abraham Lincoln. It's animatronic. And this was the board they had to use to control him. Look at all that. Look at that. Like you see a little drawing of the man there, like everything they had. Can you believe our like our cell phones are infinitely more powerful than that? It's crazy. Technology keeps going. We just left one man's dream. And if you look right ahead here, you got a little market, your little coffee market there. This area right there, straight ahead, that's overflow. Uh, when the lines get super long for attractions, they'll have sometimes they'll come all the way down the street, if you can believe that. Uh, it's overflow. But we're walking down here into Toy Story Land. We are now walking into Toy Story Land. You notice the Tinker Toys and everything. And you'll see that right down here on the ground, the transition. And as you transition, you'll notice that a giant footprint right there in the cement because we are now the size of a toy, like an action figure. And there's Woody right there with his little yo-yo. And then right up ahead, that is the Slinky Dog Dash. Very, very, very popular attraction here in Toy Story Land. It's like a roller coaster, but it's very friendly for children. It is, it's not scary, it's very smooth, it's fun, it doesn't go too fast. And children love this. This is an excellent introduction uh, roller coaster for children. So it kind of slows down as it goes over the top, then it comes through. And I mean, it's just like, wee. Very popular attraction. And if you notice, you got Rex up there all the way on top of the Jenga blocks. I love that. Over here on the left-hand side, you got Toy Story Mania, one of my favorite attractions. It is yeah. the same that they have in Disneyland uh, or Disney California Adventure, yeah. but that's where you enter in there and you go through this giant box of cookies, but it's not actually a box of cookies. It is like a toy chest. And if you notice, it says like a play set. When I was a kid in my room, I actually had a toy chest at the foot of my bed. I had to keep all my toys in it and keep everything there. That's what that's reminiscent of in the toy chest. If you look, they have toys that are kind of peek, peeping out the top of a little toy chest. I don't think, I don't know if kids really have toy chests anymore. I'm not sure. There's a again. And we're moving my in here into a little bit deeper into Toy Story Land. Great visuals, great, great visuals. And you just notice right down here, you got the Luxo Ball right there. To the right is the entrance. You see all these green umbrellas? That's when the line gets really long for Slinky Dog Dash. The line will extend down here and people will wait under those green umbrellas. This here is called Woody's Lunchbox. They have some, they have like this little place to get sandwiches, grilled cheese. They even have grown up drinks here at Woody's Lunchbox. Okay, so I'm gonna walk us down to the entrance to Slinky Dog Dash, because I want to show you something. Really the story of Slinky Dog Dash, and we did a whole video on that too. You can do all the secrets of that, is that this is Andy has built a, a roller coaster in his backyard using different pieces of toys to make this attraction. And I just want to show you a really a fun little secret down here. You know, it's that Slinky Dog Dash and they've actually taped on the dash and you'll see that there's a lightning lane watch there. That's like a watch and that is Buster. That is a dog collar. And I'm going to show you what's on the back of the dog collar. This is a little launch area where it launches the uh, Slinky Dog Dash and they go up and they come down here. They do these little whoop de doo See that? This is perfect for children. It is fun though and it's very smooth. 
This is one of Miles' favorite attractions twice here at Walt Disney World and at Hollywood Studios. I mean, all I mean, almost all of them. That's that's probably his top three for sure. Slinky Dog Dash, he loves it. All right, so let's continue on down here in Toy Story Land. On the right-hand side over here, you got the Alien Swirling Saucers. It's our two sides of it. Boom, boom. It's a very simple ride. It's just kind of spin. It's like the Scrambler or it's just like a little fun ride. It's a, just kind of a spinny ride. Then on the left-hand side, you're gonna see you have the bathrooms and they still have restrooms with scramble tiles on the up there on the top. And now, and this is really about it, because now we're gonna exit out and we're gonna head into Batu, Galaxy's Edge, Star Wars Land, whatever you like to call it. There's the entrance to the alien swirling saucers, and then right there, you see the rocks, the transitioning. That's transitioning us into Batu. All right, well now we're transitioning into Galaxy's Edge. Now, something interesting about Galaxy's Edge here in Florida, Galaxy's Edge in Florida only has two entrances, where the one in Disneyland has three entrances, this one only has the two entrances. This entrance we came in here, and then one at the other end down at the Rise of Resistance. So just be aware, if you're looking for that third entrance to come in here the first time, there isn't one. This is Galaxy's Edge. Right over the left, we got the Bazaar, and this takes us down. If we go this way, it takes us down to Smuggler's Run. That's the way that we'll go. The layout is almost identical to the one they have in Disneyland. Though if you've never been here, you can see the nice giant... Oh, look, there's Kylo Ren. Let's zoom in there, there's Kylo and the Stormtroopers. And when we walk down here is where Olga's Cantina is. Okay, so right behind me is where you get the blue milk and the green milk. Here in Florida, there is something different though. In Florida, you can get the green milk, you can actually get it with tequila, and the blue milk you can get with rum. You can get an adult beverage here in Florida. They don't do that in uh, California, but here in Florida, if you think that would make this drink better, you, you can do that. Okay, we're gonna continue right down here on the right-hand side right there, that is Olga's Cantina. And then right around that corner, that's where you're gonna see the Millennium Falcon. And there she is, the Millennium Falcon. And that is right in front of the Smuggler's Run attraction. It's a sight to behold, guys. For those of you who maybe have never had that experience, the first time I saw it, I'm not even joking. I about almost started to cry. I felt emotional. It was like seeing a friend for the first time. It's just, you're like, it's something I, you, so iconic in our childhood. And all of a sudden we get to see it and be part of it. It's still special every time I see the Millennium Falcon. Every single time. Okay, walking right there. So right, of course, behind us is the Millennium Falcon. And then right up here, we're walking up here, just like they have it in Disneyland. Here you got Docking Bay 7, where there's food and cargo and restaurant. And then to the left, you've got the Den of Antiquities and the Bazaar. Let's go through there. Of course, you go in there. We've got the Ronto Roasters. And then down there, we've got the you know, Savi's Workshop and the Joint Depot. And right here, we're going to go through. This takes us into the Bazaar. Sweet Bubba lightsaber. Turn in. The Roasters. And then straight through there, and they take us into the bazaar. Even though it's a bazaar, there's nothing weird about it. And it's just like the one they have in Disneyland. You got the popcorn over there, the toy store, and of course, you've got your merchandise and the speeder rack. There is one difference here in Florida. So, this is speeder rack in Disneyland. Uh, if you look up there in Disneyland, they have a hidden Mickey. Here in Florida, they don't have that particular hidden Mickey. All right, so let's continue on out. This is gonna take us to Rise of the Resistance, which is one of the most magical attractions that you will ever, ever go on. Another difference here in Florida, you see the X-Wing is on the other side. Like at Disneyland, it's on that side. And I'll show you where they have the A-Wing is where the X-Wing is. And then they would have the A-Wing also next to X-Wing. I don't know if that's making sense. There's a lot of letters and ships there. But right behind me is the X-Wing. And then over here is the A-Wing, which is where the X-Wing is in Disneyland. And then right over there is where the A-Wing would be. But they just you know, moved it around a little bit. I don't know, that's kind of cool, a little bit different. And then right across from the A-Wing, of course, you have Rise of the Resistance. One of the best attractions. It's I won't even classify it as an attraction. It's an experience. It's an experience you go on and you have to just experience it. That is, if you've never done it, when you come to Hollywood Studios, that is your number one must do. You gotta, you have to do it. Okay, we are now walking out of Galaxy's Edge and this is gonna take us to this courtyard. And this is one of my very favorite areas of Hollywood Studios. I think it's super underappreciated. I think a lot of people don't spend enough time here, but I love it. Here we are just exiting out. And then it is right here and to the right. That's where we're gonna go. Right there is the Muppet Theater 3D. And this is like the Muppet Courtyard. And there is so many hidden things and secrets to look at in that courtyard. Let's go explore it together. Here we go, it's called Grand Park. 
If you look on the left hand side right over there, you have a restroom, it's called Gonzo's Royal Flush, which I love that. And then over there you got uh, uh, Pizza Rizzo, one of my very favorite restaurants. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. And then see that exit right down there, that alleyway? Uh, think about that, we're gonna come around, we're gonna do a loop and come out right over there. This over here is the Muppet Vision. This has had a huge impact on Provost Park Pass. Let me show you how. As one day I was looking over here and I looked up and I saw these light fixtures with eyeballs on it. And I was like, oh my gosh. And that's what was the born, that was the genesis of our videos. We did it, we did videos of lookups, things that are up high that you never notice. We did it at Disneyland and we did it at Walt Disney World here. And so if you want to find those videos like here or here and to be able to look up and see some cool secrets. And, but that's not all. I'll show you how the Muppets also in, in, uh, impact the Pearl's Park Pass here on looking down. As you enter into the Muppets, hello, you can see that Muppets 3D. You can see right over here is a little office. And it says, back in five minutes, key is under mat. And I was like, that's interesting. And I looked down and there was a mat there. So one day I was just kind of having some fun. I lifted the mat up and look, there's the key right there. Ah. When I discovered that, my mind was like, so then I did this huge, I went down this huge rabbit hole of looking at all the things that were like on the hidden on the ground. And we've done multiple videos and there's so much detail of things hidden on the ground. You can watch those videos here or here as well. There's, I mean, there's a lot of them. All right, so let's continue on this area that's really underappreciated and not very heavily trafficked here at Hollywood Studios. All right, so there is the Muppet Vision 3D. And you walk right down this way. This is the exit where that green fence is. And to the right, that's the exit to the Muppet Vision 3D. But there are so many cool things here. I just love them. They're like hidden little props and funny things. Uh, it's all Muppet related. And I'm a huge, massive fan of the Muppets. And this area is just really underappreciated. I think it's it's just awesome. So you know at the end of the Muppet 3D, you can see that there's a, they go out in front of like a glass gazebo. There's, you get a photo in front of that glass gazebo right there. Like I'm in the Muppet movie right there. What? Or you can turn around and you make it look like you're in front of like a city cityscape i don't know yeah there it is nice little backdrop and of course you've got this backdrop right over here as well you can get some nice cool photos in and then if you look over here you're going to see that this painting job this is this says muppet stuff this store is closed i'll talk more about that in just a moment but you can see they spilled their paint you've got this frog this clock here with kermit the frog and then over here you can see where they went painting and it just got out of control because you know they're muppets this is the exit to muppet vision 3d and then taking you right over here, you can see all the painting and craziness that they have here of the Muppets. One of my favorites is if you look straight up, there's like a there's like a giant ball there, and they painted and put glasses on it to be like Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. You notice they've added eyes there. There's Kermit the Frog down there, spilled paint all along there as well. And of course, you're gonna see uh, you see where they started painting, but they didn't quite finish it over there. You can see Gonzo. Looks like he got flung into wet paint and left a imprint yeah so this then takes us right back if you follow this and go left it's gonna take us back to pizza rizzo one of my favorite restaurants here i get a lot of guff about this because i really do love the pizza rizzo so much it's got one of the best meatball sandwiches i've ever had in my life i think about that meatball sandwich all the time whenever i come down here i always make an effort to come over here and get this meatball sandwich i love it I highly recommend it. The reason I think I like the meatball sandwich so much is it's uh, really good. They love good amounts of provolone cheese, meatball, and they don't put too. They don't drown it in marinara sauces. I don't really like it when they drown it. It's just the right amount, and the bread is really good. It makes a very a delicious meatball sandwich. Okay, so this here is the store we've been walking around. This is the Muppet store. It is closed. This is closed during when the world was going through all the changes and everything. It is one of the few stores here at Disney that has not reopened. It has not reopened. There's some speculation that Disney might be moving away from the Muppet properties, uh, and so they might not be opening the store. It'll be interesting to see when, it'll be a good indicator. When they do reopen the store, if they reopen it and it's got Muppet merchandise, then that's a good indicator that Disney's gonna keep selling Muppet stuff. But if they end up reopening the store, they've removed all the Muppet merchandise, then that would let us know, hey, they are probably moving away from the Muppets area, the uh, merchandise. I really would love them to open that up and have like a whole store dedicated to Muppet merchandise like they used to, but they just have not reopened it. It's, it's one of the very few stores that has not been reopened since uh, Walt Disney World has reopened uh, from July of 2020. It's the one, I think it's the last remaining store that's still not open. There we go, we got the Pizza Rizzo. Awesome, <laughs> love it, it's so good. I think it opens, starts at 11 o'clock. I'm a little bit early, so I can't get into it right now. But what makes this really cool is you've got outdoor seating out here. You've got seating right here. 
You also have seating on the t uh, upper level and they have like fans up there. And then you can sit inside where it's nice and air conditioned. I'm gonna come back here at the end of the video. I'm gonna order a meatball sandwich. That'll be the last thing I'm gonna show you guys probably because I love it so much. I have to get one. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that's how we'll end the video is me eating my meatball sandwich. Mm. Victory! Again, there's that Muppet Vision 3D and you can see Gonzo up there hanging on the clock. We're gonna turn here and we're gonna exit out of the courtyard and then we're turn right. We're kind of doing like a circle going around all through Hollywood Studios. So let's get down here and turn right. All right, so we're continue we just left the courtyard. We continue on here. Now this is kind of a fun little area. This way up to the right, you're gonna see that start tours. And then to the left, this is one of the funnest restaurants that you can actually see it uh, go to. It's called the Sci-Fi Dining Theater. And it is, it is awesome. You usually need a reservation to go to it though. But it, I mean, I highly, highly recommend getting a reservation for it. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how do I get a reservation? What you have to do, the best way to do it is if you're, if you're thinking about coming down here to Florida, the best thing you do is you want to book your vacation through Getaway Today. That's where I book all my vacations. Every time I come down here, I uh, buy my tickets through them and get my hotel stays through them because I get the very best price, as so will you. You'll get the very best price, the lowest price guarantee. In fact, if the price goes down after you purchase your vacation with them, they'll refund the difference for you. What? Awesome. Plus, if you also buy uh, your uh, tickets to them and your hotel, like an on-property resort hotel, then you tell them all the things that you want to do. Like say you want to go eat here at the Sci-Fi Dining, tell them that and they will make the reservations for you so you don't even have to worry about it. Yes, it is that awesome. If you don't want to, you click them up, you call them at 1-855-GETAWAY and tell them Pearl's Park Park sent you to get the best rates or click down below and click that little link that says uh, uh, Getaway Today and you'll get the very best rates. I mean, guaranteed the lowest rates you can get. All right. Continue on. Now, what is the sci-fi dine-in? It's like this, it's like you were sitting, like you could sit in these little teeny kind of, kind of cars while you're having dinner, and there's a screen in front of you, and it plays like old 1950s black and white clips from movies. It is so fun, they have great milkshakes, I highly recommend it. Now, right next to it, they have the Baseline Tap House, so you go in there, you create your own different beer flights, and, and go in there and enjoy yourself. That's a lot of adults love to go in there and just relax. Then, over here, if you want to meet Mickey and Minnie, then you want to come right over here. It's called the Mickey and Minnie, uh, the Red Carpet Dreams. You walk right in there, and this is your chance to meet Mickey and Minnie. And they're usually dressed up, and they're because they're going to some gala, and it is, it's a guaranteed way to meet Mickey and Minnie. So we're gonna turn right back here, and we're gonna take you over to where Star Tours is. Again, one of the best. There's a lot of actually good restaurants I haven't shown you yet. We'll be getting to that in the little restaurant area, but that one is a fantastic one. Now we're gonna go right over here. And this is Star Tours. The line is completely different than it is in Disneyland, and you get to see a giant ad at. It, it, <laughs> it is really cool. Now you'll notice that Star Tours here is set on the planet of Endor. Yeah, it's a little different. Right there is the exit, and that is also a gift shop. That is one of the few gift shops where they sell Ewok merchandise in a Disney park because we're set on the planet of Endor. Yeah, it's awesome all the trees. I'm gonna show you. So this is a line to go right Star Tours and you see that it is, look at this. You walk right under this giant ad at, which how cool is that? And then you see over there, you see all the different trees that they had in, in the moon of Endor. Okay, now for you foodies, we're gonna do a bunch of different restaurant reviews because there's a lot coming up here with restaurants. So let's talk about food. Over here, you've got the Backlock Express restaurant. This is a big restaurant. You walk in there and get a lot of food. Nice little area to sit down. And then right down here, this is where we're gonna get like, I almost call it like restaurant row. Off the left-hand side, you can see it's called Vacation Fun. It's an animated short with Mickey and Minnie where they're getting ready to go on vacation. And it kind of shows Mickey going to Potato Land, they go to Switzerland. And at the end, you get a little, you can get a photo with a potato. I'm not even joking, it's kind of fun. Now you guys probably want to see that, right? So let's go in, I'll show you the potato photo hop. And then we're gonna go down here and go to the right and show you all the different restaurants. So this is the exit to the Vacation fun, Mickey and Minnie. Miles really loves this, and it's nice to go in here because it gets air conditioning. And there you go. <laughs> These are all the different things you see in the movie. Potato Land, there's Yodelberg, there's a little, the panda, uh, yeah. And then you get a, <laughs> yep. Photo with the potato at Potato Land. When you watch the movie, they go visit Potato Land, and there's a, like a photo opportunity with the potato in it. So they're kind of making fun of that, recreating that experience that Mickey had, so you can do the same photo. It's a fun little photo. Okay, so this is the way we're going with all the restaurants, but I'm gonna show you something real quickly over here. This here is like the Anna and Elsa like Frozen sing-along. It's like a little movie there where they do like a little sing-along. And we're gonna turn over here, because this is like a lake right in the center. 
and we're gonna turn and we're gonna go this way right down here. Off to the right, you have the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. It was closed and they just re recently reopened it. It's fun, it's a great show to go into. Kids will like it, it's, it's very exciting. And they, they'll, do the, they'll do stunt action. Then they'll stop the show and have the stunt performers talk to you and tell you about what they just did. Then they'll reset and do another scene. Then they'll stop and tell you what they just did. Then they'll reset and do another scene. Very fun and it's kind of educational. Uh, Miles loves it. And I actually love it too. I make it sound like he just smiles, but it's really neat too. All right, and then off the left-hand side, you can see right over there, you've got Gertie, that is a giant dinosaur, and that's where you get ice cream. Okay, coming over here, we have the Prime Time Cafe. It's another restaurant you're gonna probably need to get reservations at. Very fun. Their shtick is, it's like you're going to eat at mom's dinner table on a Sunday. But it's all set in like the 1950s. And the waiters sometimes they'll, they'll yell at you and get a little bit upset with you. Just having fun. And as you sit at each table, they have like a little TV from the 1950s with old episodes from the 1950s playing in the background. I really enjoy it. it they, have an ama they have amazing milkshakes there. Right next to it, you got the tune-in lounge. If you just want to go in there, it's a little lounge. Go right there. And then down here, we have more food. This is called Hollywood and Dine. And that's a play off of like Hollywood and Vine. Oh, actually it's Hollywood and Vines. So it's Hollywood and Vine. It says the famous stars, which where the famous stars dine. You can come on in here and you can actually grab some food. Same thing, you're gonna need to get a res uh, reservation usually for this. But what I wanna show you is if you look up top, you can see something really cool. One of the rare instances where they talk about Roger Rabbit. You see right there? Roger Rabbit was cut out through the window and then right next door you see Eddie Valiant. Eddie Valiant was the detective in Roger Rabbit who was trying to find out if Jessica played patty cake or not and guess what? Uh, there goes Roger Rabbit who got thrown out the window. Now this is going to take us right out here which is the actual main street that we started on. I mean we've made a complete loop. Now the only other thing I'm going to really have to do is I'm going to have to show you that meatball sandwich because it's so good it's delicious. All right, so we got, came out here. This here is the entrance to Hollywood Studios. And right over there, we've done a complete tour. Only thing we haven't really done is I haven't walked up and show you very close of the Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. I could do that. But we walked down there, we got into Sunset. We walked around and made a complete tour. This has been a complete tour. The last thing I have to show you though is that amazing meatball sub. I'm just thinking about it right now. I thought I would take you up just real quickly up to show you Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway just to show you the outside of the building. Uh, be a little bit closer so you can see what that looks like. And then I'll kind of do like a pan around uh, so you can see, uh, it's like a circle. You can see the whole view of Hollywood Studios, Disney. Oh, and you know what I forgot? <laughs> One more. There is right there, the, the Dockside Diner is just right there. It's on that lake. It's another restaurant you can get food at as well. That's kind of take, take out food really fast grabbing some food. Why I'm walking to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I just want to tell you something real quickly. I just need you to know down in your heart that you are a good person. You really are. And I know that sometimes things happen in our lives and I don't even know why. Nobody knows why. Why do bad things happen? It just does. And I just want you to know if you're going through a hard time or a terrible time or having maybe some health issues or maybe a relationship issue or a job issue, I just want to tell you that I'm sorry. That's difficult and uh, I'm sorry that you're going through that. But I want you to know that you are amazing and you will get through it and things will start to turn around and it's gonna get better for you. That is a promise. You're never alone. You always have a friend here at Provost Park Pass. Okay, we are now here at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Let's take a look. Right up here, there's the Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. Very fun attraction, very fun attraction. And I, I just, it's great. So, yeah. That's really, I mean, this is it, guys. Let's take a little tour. There's a, the junior dance party we talked about down there. Down the street and to the left, that's where they have the rock and roller coaster and Tower of Terror. This is where they have that lake with all the restaurants. And you walk right past that, that's that frozen tower. You walk right past that, that takes you down to the Muppa area, to Star Tours, and then also to Batu. And then directly behind us is Toy Story Land. Huh. All right. Let's go get that meatball sub. I'm trying to think what we should drink with it. Coca-Cola or lemonade. It's a hot day, guys. When you're, we, if you've never been down to Florida, you come down on vacation down to Florida, you need to drink a lot of water constantly. Water, water, water. You have to keep hydrating because it's so humid down here and you end up sweating a lot and then you get dehydrated. And then by the time you realize you're dehydrated, it's too late. So you've got to preempt that and drink a lot of water. My backpack, I have a big 
a two liter bottle, not a two liter, a liter bottle of water and I just keep drinking it and I keep refilling it up. Got to drink a lot of water. Well, let's get that meatball sub and maybe a Coca-Cola, nice ice cold Coca-Cola. That sounds delicious. All right, here we go. We're going in. And you notice it says right there, it says the city's top rated pizza. Sometimes those lights will flicker and then I'll say like, it's wrap pizza. Here we go, guys. Uh, it smells good. Okay, so here it is, the famous meatball sub. Got an ice cold Coca-Cola. It comes with a little uh, cedar salad. This, you guys, let's get close. Let's take a look at it. It's so good. Mm, mm, mm. I love you. Yes, I do. You're my favorite thing. Da 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 da. da. So let me explain. The 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 bread is warm and it's soft. The the meatball is good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. First. Prepare the palate. Oh. I don't know why it's so good. It's, a, it's the seasoning on the meatballs or whatever. It's so good. Well, guys, it is gonzo. A little bit of coke left. I have not touched my salad yet. <laughs> because I have no self-control. Because it's so good. I ate the whole thing. I stuffed my face. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm glad you guys see that meatball sub because it was delicious. It was so good. Anyways, I'm gonna do a whole bunch more videos, so thank you for joining us on this wonderful journey. Hit that subscribe button because we're moving along. I want you to be a part of it, and I'd like to have you here. You were awesome. Have a fantastic day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.